What's up guys? Good morning. It's Saturday. Um, it's like nine o'clock in the morning. I've been up since five. <clears throat> Just getting some work done. Feels good to get up early. Anyways, going on a little bit of a thrifting, uh, thrifting trip here. I got nothing to do, so figured why not Saturday morning. Let's check it out. Now, I'm a little, I don't know how it's going to be on a Saturday morning because I feel like most people donate stuff, you know, probably not first thing Saturday morning. So I think Sunday would probably be the best time to go mid Sunday or even Monday morning. But uh, let's check it out. Let's see what we can get. And yeah, let's see. Crazy Canadian winters. But the early bird got the worm. Alright guys, we're back. It's actually the next day. I was gonna finish recording this last night, but the lighting was pretty bad. And uh, it was nighttime and it was snowy and whatnot and it got pretty busy. So anyways, yesterday was a huge haul. Uh, at the beginning of the video, I was, I was saying I was a little worried about thrifting on a, a Saturday morning. But you know what, it was a snowstorm and there was hardly anybody at the stores and I found a ton of stuff. So let's go through it. Number one, I got, I got a crazy amount of guitars. I got one, two, three, four. I got four yesterday and I'll, I have another two that I'll show you guys after. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up and why I picked them up. Um, the guitars, I sell a lot of these guitars. I usually pick them up as you can see for about five bucks and they sell great. Now a lot of these guitars didn't have the battery covers on them but I still pick them up because they will still sell or I just find the battery covers for them and uh, make it a complete set. If you guys are going to sell these guitars, the Xbox ones sell for a lot more money because they don't require wireless dongles. Um, they actually just sync, sorry, they sync wirelessly. They don't require a USB dongle. So look out for the Xbox ones. Those ones pay the most, or you can get the most out of them. Oh, major tip is that when you're outsourcing, bring AA batteries with you. That's what I did. And you can actually test these things in the store for at least power and other things that I'll show you, show you guys in the video. Here's another one, Xbox 360, great shape. Paid $3.99 for that one. Uh, by the way, all these guitars I sell for about anywhere from $50 upwards to over $100. Um, I'll show you that guitar in a second. I found another Xbox Les Paul guitar. This one here doesn't have a price. Oh, there it is right there. I paid $3.99 for that one. Um, don't be afraid if they have stickers on them. Most of the time I just leave all these stickers on them. I might take up to clean off like the odd thing like this here. I might clean that up. Uh, the, the, the nicer you make these things look, the more money you're going to get for them. Now this guitar here actually came in a set. It's a wired Xbox one. Um, it doesn't have the breakaway cable with it. If you're going to get the wired ones, make sure that they have the breakaway cable for it or at least try to look for it if they don't have it it's not a big deal you can pick one up for a couple bucks to complete your set now this guitar was $7.99 and the reason why is because it came with this entire drum set with the mic and the foot pedal and it was all $7.99 $7.99 for the entire set now I just sold one of these sets here for I believe $89 without the microphone and without the um, the guitar and, and so it was just a game and a set for 89 bucks. So I knew this was a great deal. Of course I was going to pick that up for $7.99. Um, let's see, let's go back to this little pile over here. I got VHS tapes. A buck ninety nine for let's see three JVC tapes there and another buck ninety nine for another two. There's some Fuji film and then some other random ones in there. I always pick up blank media. This stuff is brand new. Um, 
it does great when you sell this, great return on your money. And an another reason why I picked that up is because I got two VCR DVD combos. Now, what I'll do is I'll actually pair the v sorry the VHS tapes. I'll give one blank VHS tape and I'll set it on top of these VHS combos, VHS DVD combos. And that's kind of how I will display this product in my shot. Uh, people love to see that. These didn't come with the remotes. Um, and I did, I definitely paid up for these. I mean, $14.99 each VHS combo. That's quite a bit of money, but these sell anywhere from 75 to, you know, upwards to $150 a unit, depending on the shape, if you have the remote and whatnot. And, uh, you know, I'm going to give him another shout out, but uh, shout out Pete, uh, Craigslist Hunter. He's actually the one that showed me this tip as well, and that's uh, that's putting the VHS tapes on top of the uh, the VCR combos with the remote and even printing off the PDF um, instruction manuals. It, it just looks looks much better. People love seeing it. You also grab one of these. Um, the audio video cables or RCA, whatever they're called, and you add that on top as well. Sorry, I stopped recording there. Hit the button on the side of my phone. But anyways, to give you guys an example, I would kind of just set up the image like this with, um, you know, obviously looking a little nicer, but with a PDF printout on top. And people just like to see the instruction manual with the blank media tape and the cables there it's just kind of you know and then bundle up this cord real nice just like this one is here if you guys can see that and uh just just make a nice image you know people love to see the bundle and you will actually be able to get more money for your item uh bundling up your item like that i do the same thing with uh with the guitars i will take a guitar and i will find a game like this that I pick up at the thrift store, sometimes for $2.99 or at garage sales. Um, and I'll bundle a guitar with the strap and the game, and if it has a dongle or not. And uh, customers love to see that. It's kind of a one-stop shop. They don't have to go buy the game, buy the strap, buy the battery cover. You know, um, they just buy everything from you and you can command more money for it. So for example, let's say you could sell one of these guitars for uh, you know, 35 bucks or $40. Well, all of a sudden you bundle a game with it, with the strap, and you start charging 60 bucks, 70 bucks sometimes, and, or even more, right? Depending on what guitar, the style, and, and the shape of it. But people love that stuff. So I do that. I picked up a couple of these games actually from the thrift. I picked up this game separately. Um, and it was actually the last stop on my on my uh, little tour there, which was great because I already picked up the drum set. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna bundle the drum set here. That's exactly how I'm gonna bundle this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find some drumsticks, so it's a complete set, and a breakaway cable for the. The drum set and the guitar and I'm set anyways guys let's move on um, oh yeah I got a couple goodies here so it was a great day for Walkman's yesterday the first Walkman I picked up was this Sony what is this here it is a D-EJ100 now this thing sells frequently for $19.99. I picked that up for $1.99, so easy money there. Next, I actually picked up this Panasonic. This is the first time I've seen this one. I picked it up for $2.99. Um, it is a Shockwave Metal SXBS. And maybe it's an 8S, but this is a metal one. Pretty cool, $2.99. Um, I'm gonna post some pictures 
up if I can, if I got time in this video that will show recent completed uh, listings here. And then this one here, I've sold this one a couple times. I love picking these ones up. It is a Sony S2G protection. Model number is DFS601. And I actually paid $4.99 for this. But this one here is selling anywhere from, I've seen $50 up to $150 for this thing. So that's obviously great money. Um, I was about to leave the store and I walked over to the display case. Let me get some better light on this guy. I walked over to the display case and I saw that they had a Canon AE-1 here. Now I've sold this same camera before. I actually picked one up in one of my garage sale haul videos. Let me get a focus here. Uh, garage sale haul videos. I picked one of these up mint condition with box for $20. Now this one here is missing the battery door and it's missing the little metal disc up here that you pop up and turn to open the, uh, the film door. So I looked it up real quick at the store. By the way, I sold one of these in good condition for like 160 bucks, maybe a little bit more not too long ago. It had a price tag for $9.99. I figured, you know what? I could at least sell this thing for parts, and sure enough, I was right. Um, people will part out literally every single part on these cameras. So if I wanted to, I could sell like, you know, just these straps alone will sell for $20. Um, I got a lens on it, etc. You know, this little, this little thing here will sell for 15 bucks. This one here will sell for 10, 15 bucks. So if I wanted to part it out individually, um, you know, I can make some good money off this thing. I probably won't. I'll, I'll either try to source the two parts for it, um, or I'll just let it go quick for 40, 50 bucks and sell it to somebody else that wants to buy it for parts and, you know, quadruple my money on that. So that's probably what I'll do because I got enough stuff to sell and space is limited. So, so is time. Now... The last two items here, I did not pick these up yesterday, but I just wanted to show you guys that I do buy broken things, especially when it comes to these guitars um, and just like the camera I showed you. So these... Sorry guys, this video isn't going very smooth. I uh, just ran out of memory on my iPhone. I should have been recording on this camera the whole time because the lighting is so much better, or the, the shot I guess. But anyways... What I was saying was 